So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start the glitch, you want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, you want to go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Doesn't matter which one, just buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you're ready to start the glitch, come over here to the clothing store. Set your spawn location to last location, hit your pass button, go to online, and go to swap character. So one more time, you are going to be losing all your outfits, so before you start it, put the outfit on that you don't want to lose before you start. Also, you're going to need purple draggers for this glitch, but if you don't got it right now, don't worry about it, because I'm going to show you how to get it before you merge the outfits, because as you can see right now, I don't got it, so if you don't got purple draggers right now, don't worry about it, I'm going to show you guys how to get it before we merge outfits. So when you come in here, you want to make sure that your main character, which is the guy, you want to make sure that he's on the left side. So when you get in here, go over to your second character and it's going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your um, second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to walk in. And from there, you're going to get the edit option under your second character. Once you get an edit option under your second character, just go ahead and select it. And when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here. You just want to go ahead and accept it. Once your second character gets in here, if it ended up being a male, change it into a female. If it ended up being a female, just leave it as a female. Go ahead and say continue, make a name for it, and then take the picture. Once you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. For me, it's not going to play it, but for some of you guys, it may play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. And also, since you're here just waiting to get spawned inside your new session, you might as well just scroll down real quick. And if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like on the video. You can share it after you're done watching it, and you could comment that the glitch works or something when you're done um, watching it if it ended up working for you, because it should as long as you follow every step that I do. So when you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, like there are no clothing stores inside my session, all you want to do is just go to online and go ahead and find a new session or switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores inside your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one so if you don't see any clothing stores just with sessions or find a new session and if you do see the clothing store make your way over to the nearest one So I just got spawned inside my new session. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my map. And as you can see, there are clothing stores in here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make my way over to the nearest one. So some tips for you guys real quick. If you get spawned with your um, female character and you got no money on her, all you gotta do is just go back to your main character and put the money in the bank. So both your male and female character can share the money and then just start the glitch all over again. And when we go to the clothing store, if you're not able to buy something at the clothing store, it's probably because your main character isn't a level 120 or higher. So those are just some quick tips for you guys. So when you get inside the clothing store, first you want to make your way over to the top section. Go to leather bomber jackets and purchase the multi-color SN leather clothes. So come to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the multi-color SN leather clothes. So this one right here. Once you got that, just go ahead and back out. Make your way over to the pants section. Go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. So just come over to the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. Once you got that, make your way over to the shoes. Go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat. So come over here to the shoe section. Go to high heel boots, 
and purchase the Deluxe Midnight Combat. Once you got the boots from here, if you have any earrings on your character, you just want to go ahead and take them off. But I'm not going to be able to access the accessories because I'm in bad sports, so you can't do anything with the accessories. But if you have any earrings on, make sure you um, take them off so they don't mess the glitch up. And once you got that, you're just going to come save the outfit. And when you save the outfit, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So for me, my uh, main character has the outfit with the white joggers in slot 20. So I will just save this in a different slot. So just save this outfit in a different slot that's on your main character. Or an empty slot that's on your main character. Once you save the outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field. So come over here to the top section, go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field. Once you got that, make your way over to the gun running t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt, which is going to be the last one. So just come buy the blue digital t-shirt that's going to be inside of the gun running t-shirts. Once you got that, you're just going to come save this outfit right underneath of the previous outfit that you just made. Once you got the outfit saved, just hit your back button once, go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you got a Chica outfit, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online and click on creator. Once you get put inside a creator, just go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. They don't gotta be nothing specific, I just put in random stuff for it. After that, just go ahead and um, put the maximum players on two and set your route type on point to point. And also make sure you take the photo. Once you got all that, just hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. Once you load in at the airport, just hit your bag button, go to placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, and then back out of that, click on lobby cam, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on the checkpoints. Now when you're placing the checkpoints, the race has to be .62 miles or longer. So once you made the race .62 miles or longer, hit your bag button twice, and it's going to give you the option to test out the race, and you just want to go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert, just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. Once you get inside of here, all you're going to do is go over to your second character and you're going to delete it. So make sure you go over to your second character because you don't want to delete your main character by accident. Go over to um, your female character that got the Chica outfit on and hit delete on her. It's going to actually tap in delete confirm it. Just go ahead and do that. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in. From here, just hit your back button so it takes you inside of single player. So just hit your back button when these two new characters come in. And it's going to take you inside of single player. When you get loaded inside a single player, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, 
and just going to invite only session so all you're doing in single player is just going inside of a invite only session So when you get loaded inside your online session, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you just come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge other outfits. So once you save the outfit that you didn't want to lose, now you just want to go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus and start up truck off. That's how we're going to get the purple joggers. So once you start up truck off, make sure you put the clothing on themed and invite either a friend or a random. It's probably better if you invite a friend, but maybe some randoms are going to know not to kill you when you get inside of the job. So when you get inside the truck off, make sure you put the clothing on themed and just invite either a friend or a random. So from here, you just want to go down to the versus outfits and you want to put it on insects so just go down to the versus outfits and put it on insects and from here just go ahead and ready up so when you get loaded inside the mission all you want to do is open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to your illuminated clothing and either hold left or right on a d-pad on it for about 30 seconds so just go to your um, illuminated clothing and hold left or right for about 30 seconds and from there just wait for the um, game to kick you out of the job also from here if you're on playstation i think you can like open up your recent activities or something like that so it kicks you out faster but i'm not really sure so if you want to wait um, you can wait or just try what i just said so right here i'm about to get kicked out so you're going to get this alert right here that's going to um say you've been kicked out for being ideal from here just go ahead and accept it and then it's going to spawn you inside your new session with this same outfit on So after you get kicked out and it puts you back inside the session, for some reason it put me inside the containers but I was able to get out. So once you get inside the session, just make your way over to the nearest clothing store and you're gonna go ahead and save the outfit. And actually before you um, save the outfit, make sure you take the top off and you change the shoes. So make sure you change the shoes and take the top off before you save the outfit. And when you save the outfit, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So once you take the top off and you change the shoes and you save it, um, for some reason this part didn't um, record it or whatever, but you just want to go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus and start up crooked cops so just start up crooked cops and when you get inside crooked cops make sure you put the clothing on player own or the glitch will not work so make sure you put the clothing on player own when you're in the settings and then invite either a friend or a random once you get in here just go down to the owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice and you're gonna get this exact same outfit right here from here just go ahead and ready up
once you get loaded inside the mission all you want to do is open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one you bought from ammunition and then open up your phone and quit the job from your phone Once you get loaded inside your online session, you're going to have the exact same outfit on. From there, just go ahead and go to ammunition and save the outfit. Once you save the outfit, go ahead and delete the first and second component because you don't need it. So just delete the two components and then yeah, just make sure you save the outfit. So if you guys like the outfit and you made it, don't forget to drop a like on the video, share, subscribe if you already haven't. Um, drop a like on the video if you already haven't also. And let me know that in the comment section if it worked for you guys and yeah, that's going to be it.